I'm Archie's grandpa and Thomas Markle. This is my story. The last time they might see me is being loaded into the ground. I, I don't think that at this point they're thrilled to see me or want to talk to me. I was sitting in my car waiting across the border and I heard the good news from the world is that uh, Megan is pregnant, which is almost a joke when they, when they tell people, you know, you, what well, you heard on the radio. This is my daughter. Talking about my grandchild, she's going to have a grandchild this morning. And I'm not hearing about it on the phone, I'm hearing about it on the radio. With Megan and Harry and, and what, what separating from the Royals, Look at um, I think it, well, I, I've already said it's just it's disappointing to me. And uh, it's disappointing because she actually got every girl's dream. Uh, every young girl wanted to become a princess, and she got that. And now she's tossing that away for, it, it looks like she's tossing it away for money. I, I, apparently three, $3 million and a 26 bedroom home isn't enough for them. I don't know. I can't answer. I can't go much, much further than that. Um, I, I, it's kind of embarrassing to me. When they got married, they took on an obligation and the obligation is to be part of the royals and to represent the royals and uh, it would be foolish for them not to. This is like one of the greatest long, long living institutions ever. Uh, uh, they're destroying it. They're, they're cheapening it. They're, they're making it shabby. Uh, they're turning it into a Walmart with a crown on it now. It's not. It's, not, it, it's something that's ridiculous. They shouldn't be doing this. I can't see her reaching out to me, especially now. Uh, and in light of what I'm saying now, she probably won't. Uh, or Harry, for that matter. Uh, but here again, I, I think I think both of them are turning into lost souls at this point. I don't I don't know what they're looking for. Uh, I don't think they know what they're looking for. Uh, why does he continue to keep talking? If he just shut up, uh, they would they would talk to me. Well, I've been quiet for six months and. Uh, no one's returned anything back to me. No one said a word to me. Uh, I'm confused by it. People are saying I should be quiet about this and not speak. If I don't speak, they'll be speaking. They will speak to me. That hasn't happened. Uh, I don't plan to um, be, be silent for the rest of my life. I love my daughter very much. And... Uh, she has to know that, and I, I would have really appreciated if she would just call me, reach out somehow to me, just send me a text, just say, you're there, and you're hearing, and you know I'm, I'm here.